Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. And today I wanted to do a quick video on the subject of ectopic heartbeats. I have um, done quite a few um, um, talks on ectopic heartbeats, um, but I had something very nice to show you and I thought I'd share it with you. I'm really sorry I haven't done any videos recently. It's just been pretty hectic at work. I'm really sorry also that I haven't responded to your comments, uh, but I have a few days off now and I'm going to get on and um, answer all your queries. All right, so um, most of us, you know, most of the people who are gonna be watching this probably understand what ectopic heartbeats mean. Uh, but in essence, what they feel like is they make people aware of their heartbeats, okay? And for a lot of people, what they describe is um, a skip beat followed by a thud. Um, and for a lot of people, they don't understand why that happens. So basically, an ectopic heartbeat is like this, you know, normal heartbeat is like this. An ectopic heartbeat is skip, thud, and then, and that's very disconcerting. So I wanted to try this out and show you something which is very interesting, okay? I did a um, heart scan, an echocardiogram on a patient who was having ectopic heartbeats. Let me bring it up, all right, hang on. So here we go. Uh, so this is it. Okay. So, um, okay. So here we go. This is an echocardiogram of a patient uh, that I did. Okay. So what we're doing here is if you look over here, what we're doing is we're measuring the velocity of blood that is coming out of the heart. This is the left ventricle here, and we're measuring the velocity of blood that is coming out of the heart with every heartbeat. Now, look over here at this ECG. You see, here is a heartbeat, and that causes this much blood to come out at this velocity, sorry, not this heartbeat, sorry, look over here. This is a heartbeat here. Look at how much blood comes out here, okay? This is the velocity of blood that is coming out with this heartbeat. I know this is a normal heartbeat, and the next normal heartbeat is, ex is around about the same distance as this. So we know that the normal heartbeats are intermittently, are, are sp the intervals between normal heartbeats are equal. So. This is a normal heartbeat here, normal heartbeat here, normal heartbeat here. If you just look at these two, you will see that this is the amount of the velocity of blood that's coming out. And the velocity of blood that's coming out of the heart is exactly the same, all right? Now look here, look and see what happens here. This is very similar to this, so this is a normal heartbeat. But then look, what happens here? You get this normal heartbeat and you would normally expect the next beat to come in around about this distance from here. From here, you'd expect the normal heart, next heartbeat to come around here. But instead, another beat comes in. Now, this is a premature beat because it's come in early. It looks very different from the normal beats, from this beat. And therefore, this is a premature ventricular beat, okay? A PVC. Um, I know it's PVC because it's premature. It looks completely different and it's quite wide looking, which tells me it's coming from the ventricle. Look what happens here. How much blood comes out with this beat? Much less, much less blood comes out at a much lower velocity, all right? And therefore, this is why people feel that missed beat, okay? Because they're used to this much blood coming out at this velocity and suddenly, a lot less blood comes out at a lot, low, uh, a lot uh, smaller, um, sh um, lower velocity. And then look what happens. You get this beat, and now instead you're waiting a lot longer. Okay, you're waiting a lot longer because remember, this is the onset of the beat. And look how long you're waiting up to there before you get the next beat. Now, this is a normal beat, and look how much blood comes out now. And at what velocity it comes out, there's a lot more blood coming out at a lot higher velocity. So whereas here, the velocity is halved, here it almost goes up by one and a half times, all right? And this is the norm, and this is what feels like the thud. So if I tapped it out for you, look, tap it out from here now, normal beat, normal beat, 
and then misbeat, and then you get this big thud. Beat, normal beat, misbeat, and a lot later, thud. And this is the reason um, why they feel like they do. All right, so I hope that has worked. Let me just go back. I hope that's worked. Um, if you, I hope that's worked and gives you an understanding of exactly why ectopic beats feel like they do. Because the premature beat that comes in, the PVC, does not cause as much blood to come out of the heart, and therefore there's less blood going around at a lower velocity. Therefore, people feel dizzy. Therefore, people feel this sinking feeling in their chests. Um, I sometimes they can feel breathless. And then the next beat that comes in, comes in later, and you get a lot more blood coming out with a much higher velocity. And that's why people feel it up in their throats, you know, because this is where the carotid artery is. The carotid artery is. So when the heart is pumping out a lot more blood, you'll feel it just over here. You'll feel like a, like a big thud. Uh, and then the heart normalizes, all right? So that's why ectopics feel like they do. I've done a lot more videos on, as to how to get rid of them, so I hope you'll get a chance to uh, look through those. Um, and that's about it, really. Um, so let me just put my normal spiel up. Um, hang on. Here we go. This is me. And this is my website. And please come and become friends with me on Facebook so that we can chat. And here we go. So thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for sharing my videos. Thank you so much for your comments. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to try and put some more videos out soon. Thank you so much. All right, bye.